What is produced capital? And is there anything such as produced capital externalities? Well, here's the interesting thing. Produced capital is basically man-made capital. And most of what man makes, whether it's finance, or whether it's factories, or houses, or cars, motorbikes, food, anything that is produced typically tends to be done on a commercial basis. And typically, it is bought and sold in markets, and therefore it has prices. Typically, if I am the producer of the good, and you are the buyer of the good, you are paying me for the value that you perceive is delivered by the good that I have sold you. You have paid a price. Typically, third parties are not involved in this, except through the externalities of production. The externalities of production could be on natural capital, nature which is destroyed, could be on human capital, the health of other people, and so on. And they become human and natural capital externalities. However, there is an aspect of produced capital which doesn't seem to figure very much in the way that we report business. When we report business, we typically report shareholder profits. We don't necessarily report all of the value that the company delivers to its stakeholders. We don't necessarily separately report salaries paid to employees or rents paid to our landlords or interest paid to our bankers and so on. And it is important that we capture these elements. After all, they are part of GDP. GDP is in fact a sum of profits plus salaries plus rents plus net interest, adding back the taxes and so on. So whilst produced capital is generally a market-based commodity, generally a market-based transaction that delivers produced capital from one to the other, it is important to measure all of the elements of that and report them appropriately so that you can present the full picture of what the company is. It is a capital factory. It is working with human capital and natural capital and it is producing produced capital and doing so partly for its shareholders but partly also for its other stakeholders like its employees, its suppliers and its customers.